Hi, my name's Chris Freistad, Recreation Ranger, Weed River Ranger at Smith River State Park for Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. I'm here today at Eden Bridge, which is the takeout for the Smith River, at the newly installed SCAT machine building, which houses two SCAT machines that the department installed last year. Today we're going to do several demonstrations on human waste containment systems or portable toilets that can be sanitized and cleaned here at the SCAT machine. This is an example of our agency approved portable toilet system. Um, it consists of primarily one 20 millimeter sized metal ammo can. You can buy these at Army Surplus stores online. Um, they're relatively cheap. So you'll have one ammo can that will be your waste ammo can. You can wash these lids off in the back of the scat machine. Likely you will want to carry around another ammo can or some sort of sealed receptacle to put a toilet seat in. Here we've made a custom, easy, do-it-yourself toilet seat with chunks of two by four that are screwed onto the bottom side of a toilet seat. And then saw kerfs cut into the two by fours that fit fairly easily <laughs> onto the ammo can. This toilet seat can also be put in the back of the scat machine to be washed. And the ammo can can be strapped easily onto the scat machine. To prepare this toilet for cleaning, strap the 20 millimeter ammo can from handles to middle anchor points on both sides of the hopper door. This is another agency approved portable toilet system. It consists of a standard 20 millimeter um, army surplus ammo can and a product by a company called EcoSafe. This is just a plastic tank that fits into the 20 millimeter ammo can so that you don't have to use the 20 millimeter ammo can as your primary waste receptacle. So remove your lid off the 20 millimeter ammo can. We're gonna set that aside since we won't be putting waste directly into the ammo can. So the EcoSafe system has an RV clean out. It also has a standard lid with a garden hose attachment that fits easily onto the lid if needing to use an RV clean out and the attachment for the RV dump. Put your lid in the back of the scat machine. This also has a toilet seat that fits easily onto the top. This container fits directly into the 20 mil can. Again, toilet seat nestles within the 20 millimeter can for the completed toilet. To prepare this toilet for cleaning, the EcoSafe system must first be secured inside of your 20 millimeter ammo can using two straps around the ammo can itself. Then you can strap both handles of the ammo can to middle anchor points on both sides of the hopper door. This is a relatively inexpensive option for a agency approved portable toilet system. It consists of simply a five gallon bucket um, pay attention to um, how you feel the strength of the five gallon bucket is that you purchase because um, weight could be an issue. Um, that's one consideration with this option. Uh, in order to be agency approved, we are recommending there are several different products. Um, Leak Tight 
and Gamelid are two products of threaded, sealable lid systems. Each one of these lid systems have rubber gaskets, both on the inside of the threaded lid here, and also on the inside of the piece that goes directly onto the five gallon bucket. These pieces fit onto the five gallon bucket and they snap on and the lid itself screws on. There are several different options for toilet seats that you can fit on top of the buckets as well. These fit easily into the back of the scat machine as well as the toilet lids and the five gallon bucket itself. To prepare this toilet for cleaning, strap around the toilet to back anchor points on both sides of the hopper door. So this product is the Johnny Partner portable toilet. It's an agency approved toilet or human waste containment. It's made by Partner Steel. It's a quality welded stainless steel um, toilet that accepts approximately 50 uses. It has a heavy duty gasket and clamp system for transport, for removing the cap. They have installed a handy pressure relief valve as well. These implements can be washed in the scat machine along with the toilet that has an adapter. The toilet seats fits as such. To prepare this toilet for cleaning, strap from handles to middle anchor points on both sides of hopper door. This product is another agency approved portable toilet system made by Coyote River Gear. Um, it's a quality roto molded plastic um, toilet adequate for up to 50 uses approximately. Um, it has an easy seat that fits directly on top of the portable toilet. These can be put in the back of the scat machine for cleaning. It also has an RV dump compatible clean out. With this attachment and a standard garden hose attachment for cleaning as well. To prepare this toilet for cleaning, strap a round toilet to back anchor points on both sides of hopper door. This is another agency approved portable toilet product. It is made by Selway Fabrications. It's called the Riverbank or the Riverbank 2 toilet. It consists of an outer box that is the seat. As you can see, the inner tank inside can be easily removed. As you can see, it also has a hose, garden hose attachment for cleaning out an RV dump if needed. RV dump attachment is on the side here. And top comes off to be cleaned in the back of the scat machine. To prepare this toilet for cleaning, the Riverbank 2 toilet should be strapped from the handles to front anchor points on both sides with an additional strap around the toilet to back anchor points on both sides of the hopper door. The following human waste containment option is suitable for small watercraft such as pack rafts or kayaks when parties do not have canoe or raft support to haul a larger toilet. I'm going to assemble a do-it-yourself poop tube that you can bring with you um, using materials acquired just from your local hardware store. You will need 14 to 16 inches of Schedule 20 four inch diameter PVC pipe for this project. 
You can see here I have Schedule 20 PVC. This is a four inch diameter tube. This is your Schedule 40 PVC. It is also a four inch diameter tube, but as you can see, it has a thicker wall. You will want to purchase the thinner walled Schedule 20 irrigation style pipe for this project. You will also need one plumbing test cap that has a rubber gasket and a screw top attached to it. Also, you will need regular purple primer and regular clear PVC cement. All right, so we're assembling our poop tube, four inch PVC poop tube here. I'm just doing it on the ground because this can get a little messy. So the purple primer, is very messy, so try to get some of the excess off of the little dabber, and then you'll just apply an even but thin coat on the inside of your end cap, as well as the surface on the outside of your PVC. There's no rush with this primer, so I'll just set that aside. Now it's important when you apply your cement that you do this quickly because it will adhere the two pieces together very fast. So get ready. We'll very quickly apply the cement, put it back in, do a quarter turn, hold it there or else it will push back out for about 30 seconds. We'll check on the inside so you can see approximately where your end cap fit on your PVC tube and you're all set. You've got yourself a poop tube with a sealable cap. All right, so we've got our assembled and used poop tube. So the way this fits into the machine, we've got a little lever that holds it in place and we'll drop it straight into this hopper. Let the lever back so it holds that in place. So as you can see, there's not a lot of tolerance on this hole for different size irrigation style PVC pipe. So this has to be four inch diameter. So you'll put your poop tube in the hopper, pull your sealable top off, close the hopper. 